We're also learning about the result of a new local poll and how Rhode Islanders are rating the response of the governor and also President Trump. Let's check in with Ted Nisi live at the State House with the latest. Ted. Good afternoon, Danielle. Yes, Bryant University's Hassenfeld Institute, they do polls periodically uh, using our pollster as well, Joe Fleming, who works for them also. And they just put out these numbers a few minutes ago, and they're quite striking, I would say. Uh, I have them right here in front of me. 81% of Rhode Island voters say Governor Raimondo is doing either an excellent or good job handling the coronavirus, and just 4% say she's doing a poor job. I've been reporting on the governor since she got into politics. I've never seen a poll where her approval rating even hit 50%. So these are quite high numbers um, for the public uh, with the governor there. It appears at least some voters who don't typically support Raimondo and presumably still disagree with her on some policies are at least in line with how she's handling coronavirus so far. It's a different story in this new Bryant University poll with President Trump. The poll shows nearly half of Rhode Island voters say the president is doing a poor job handling coronavirus. But the president does have his supporters about one in three voters voters in Rhode Island say Trump is doing an excellent or good job handling the virus. Also notable, a majority of Rhode Island voters say they don't trust the information the president provides about the virus. Uh, one other finding in the poll that struck out to me as I looked at it this morning, a majority of Rhode Islanders now say their family finances have been impacted at least to some extent by the coronavirus crisis, which I think is just a sign of how quickly there's a lot of economic damage happening and why the governor is pushing so hard this week and in the coming weeks to figure out a way to reopen parts of the economy. We do expect to hear more from her coming up at the Coronavirus Daily Briefing at 1 p.m., which we'll carry live at 1 p.m. on WPRI.com and here on WPRI 12. And if you're interested in that poll, I have much more about it on our website, WPRI.com. Live at the Statehouse, Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.